Hey everyone, I'm Anthony Antoine and topping the rundown here tonight, an absolutely devastating story. Two toddlers were allegedly sexually assaulted in a bathroom at the Galleria by multiple men. One of the men was a mall employee. Fox 26's Natalie He is joining us now live from the Galleria with the disturbing details. Natalie. Well, Anthony, court documents reveal that there were up to seven men involved in the sex assault. It apparently happened at one of the public bathrooms here at the Galleria Mall. And tonight, one local organization has an important message for parents. The FBI has arrested Arthur Hector Fernandez III and charged the 29-year-old with sexual exploitation of children. Fernandez is pictured here on his private Instagram with the username allegedly Hector. His account was named in court documents that detailed the disturbing allegations that he and at least six other unidentified men sexually assaulted and raped a toddler at what appeared to be a Galleria Ball bathroom. Court documents say last month the Australian Center to counter child exploitation reported four explicit videos found on the dark web to the FBI in which at least two toddlers ages two and three were filmed being sexually and verbally assaulted by multiple men at once. Relatives of the toddlers told investigators Fernandez was a friend and fellow Galleria employee who offered to watch the kids while they were at work at the mall. I think as parents you want to go with your gut but also as policymakers people need to start figuring out how do we make sure that we have safe environments for our kids so they don't have to, parents don't have to wait uh, on a creepy uncle or a neighbor that they think is safe. Dr. Bob Sanborn is the president and CEO of the organization Children at Risk. He says parents should look out for certain telltale signs that their child may have been abused. Uh, kids after they've been out with someone who you you thought you trusted them, uh, they will sort of withdraw. They'll be more quiet. And so look for those changes in your children. Bedwetting, not eating. Uh, all of these things are sort of signs that something isn't right with your child. In this case, we're talking about toddlers. They really couldn't communicate. They didn't know what was right and wrong. Now, Dr. Sanborn also suggests that parents remain vigilant about who they're trusting with their children, even if it's only for a few minutes or for a few hours. From the Galleria, Natalie He, Fox 26 News.